What's up guys, it's Jedi Bricks here and today we have a new 2025 LEGO Star Wars Summer Battle Pack to reveal. Along with full confirmation on the at, -AT pilot helmet and some bad news for Revenge of the Sith sets next year. Also, I'm giving away a free copy of the Imperial Dropship vs the Rebel Scout Speeder. I'll be announcing the winner around the 5th of October and all you have to do to enter is subscribe to the channel and comment down on this video. So make sure to stick with me for this Summer Battle Pack, but it's been a huge week for 2025 LEGO Star Wars and in yesterday's update, I recap what we know so far about 2025, where we have a big January wave, including sets like the Arc 170 and also Ahsoka's Interceptor, but then we also have a big May 1st wave that should include Plo Koon's Jedi Starfighter and the UCS Slave 1. And just yesterday, we had confirmation of a summer battle pack coming in 2025. But first up, the at, -AT pilot helmet has been rumoured for a couple of days now and is officially confirmed to be releasing, with around 760 pieces and a retail price price of $70. We don't have the full release date yet, but it's rumoured to be coming on May 1st of 2024 alongside the Django Fett helmet. And what is really important about this is that the helmet set seem to be taking back over from the diorama line, at least for 2025. And this would be really bad news for all of us fans hoping to see a Revenge of the Sith 20th anniversary diorama this year. It's just the perfect opportunity to release a Palpatine's Arrest or a Mustafar Hyde ground. But because of this information, and if you just don't trust LEGO to provide these sets, I've now published my full Jedi Council diorama instructions on Rebrickable. The link is in the description, and if you do pick them up, I really appreciate the support, as it helps me to continue designing mocks here on the channel, and not just covering leaks. So on to the big battle pack reveal, and it's both good and bad news, and that's because the 2025 Summer Battle Pack will be a Night Troopers Battle Pack. It's rumoured to come with 110 pieces and be retailing at $20 and we actually have the full minifigure lineup revealed, which kind of explains why this is LEGO's choice for 2025. It will come with four minifigures, including Captain Enoch and three Night Troopers, and I think that the fact we only got a single generic Night Trooper in the Jewel of Peridia disappointed a lot of fans who wanted to see Captain Enoch and his gold-plated armor. So this battle pack is definitely trying to resolve that missed opportunity, and it's kind of the last chance that LEGO could release it. So four minifigures with a named Captain is similar to the three 32nd battle pack and will make a fine addition to any Imperial armies, but it has to be said this was the perfect opportunity to release a Revenge of the Sith clone battle pack for the 20th anniversary and I'm pretty disappointed that we won't be seeing a wolf pack battle pack, but I do think we will see the wolf pack soon, I just can't say any more on that just yet. Now let me know what you think of this Night Troopers battle pack and the at, -AT helmet down in the comments and as soon as I know more I will update you guys, but if you're new here then don't forget to subscribe and may the force be with you.